Guys, this is Drew from Real Game Calls, and today I want to run you through our buck reel, how to play it, and why I think this is the best deer calling tool that I've ever used. It's just the playability of it and the dependability of it. Um, it doesn't have the traditional open read, mylar style read inside of it. Um, that read, you know, is, is moisture affected, it's uh, temperature affected. You know, this call is not. So, uh, traditional can calls are really easy to use, but it's kind of awkward. Um, the volume's not variable, the pitch isn't variable. So this call will allow you to make all sorts of deer vocalizations. It'll allow you to control the pitch, control the volume level. Uh, for example, the, the, the buck is just cruising just out of bow range. You can be really quiet with it. Um, if you've got mule deer that are a couple hundred yards or whitetail that are a couple hundred yards away, and you just wanna get their attention, get them interested. You can really turn up the volume on them. Um, you can stack vocalizations. What I mean by that, like an, an estrus bleed sequence is something that I get asked about a lot. It's stacking four bleeds right on top of each other so that doing something that you're not gonna be able to do with that can call you know, as easily or easily at all. Um, so it's just very playable. You can make a variety of deer vocalizations with it and uh, it's very automatic so it's like our elk call the soundboard cannot physically stick to the reed so as this pulls away or as it is away you're not going to get two pieces that are stuck together it's just not going to happen so very dependable very playable very volume uh, and pitch variable and I think that's something that really makes this call stand out above every other deer call that I ever used um, anyways if you guys have any questions, just send me a message, uh, but you should be able to figure this out. You're not going to close it all the way to make those more mature doe sounds, close it more to uh, make those fawn sounds and inflect your voice to grunt. So, you know, I'm just going through the call and letting the reed just transform my voice into more of a deer sounding note than just going at the deer. So. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I hope you guys have one of these. If you see this, uh, share it with your buddies. This really can make the difference in your deer season. White tails, mule deer, they all seem to react just as well to this. And it makes a female, male deer vocalization, and it makes it easy. So thanks, guys. Appreciate it.